Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John Krim from Tennis Companion, and today I'm breaking down the often confusing and misrepresented topic of tennis racket stiffness. Let's get started. Stiffness is a measurement of how much a racket flexes or bends. Although it can't be seen with the naked eye, it happens every time you strike a ball. The lower the rating, the more flexible or less stiff the frame. When shopping for a new racket, it's one of the many specifications retailers showcase, which can serve as a useful point of comparison, but it does come with some caveats which we'll cover in this video. For fun, you can get a sense of a racket's stiffness by applying pressure to the head of your racket with the handle secure on a flat surface. You might be surprised at how much it bends. However, for an official stiffness rating, the Babolat Racket Diagnostic Center is the industry standard, and one of only a handful of devices that exist to take measurements. A racket is secured to the machine by the handle, and pressure is applied to the tip of the racket's head to determine the measurement. Most tennis rackets will have a rating between 55 and 75, but you will find a few in the mid-40s and upper 70s. Here are a few example rackets on both ends of the spectrum. All things being equal, a racket with a higher stiffness rating will offer more power, while a lower rating will afford a player with more control and improved feel. Without getting into the weeds, this is because a flexible frame will absorb energy during a swing, while a stiffer racket will deflect it. Of course, it's very rare for all things to be equal when comparing rackets, so stiffness needs to be taken in consideration with other specs, such as weight and balance, to paint a more complete picture of a racket's overall performance characteristics. Along with performance, the comfort of a tennis racket can also be impacted by its stiffness. As a rule of thumb, a stiffer racket will tend to pass more shock and vibration to a player's arm. Here's a comparison chart for reference. However, recognizing that stiffness impacts comfort, racket manufacturers will tweak other specs, such as weight, materials, and balance to improve comfort, which is why higher stiffness ratings don't always translate perfectly to lower comfort. Add to that the fact that comfort is subjective and it can get tricky, but there is a solution. While specs like racket stiffness are excellent for general comparison, nothing beats demoing different rackets. With that in mind, I'd encourage you to use specs like stiffness as a general guide for help narrowing down a selection of rackets, but to try a few before you make a decision. Not only will you gain a better understanding of how specs translate to playing, you'll also be more inclined to find a racket you love. If comfort is a concern, two other worthy considerations are the types of strings you choose and the tension you string your racket. I've written in-depth on these topics in the past, so if you'd like to learn more, be sure to check the links in the description. Hopefully you feel like you have a better understanding for racket stiffness, but if you'd like to dive deeper on the topic, I'd encourage you to check out my guide. I'll be sure to drop a link in the description for that as well. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.